Question seven. Mia has a rectangle of cloth. She dips the top five eighths of the cloth in blue dye, and she dips the bottom nine twentieths of the cloth in yellow dye. The part of the cloth that is dipped in both colors turns green. So we need to interpret this question. It's not just a skills question. There's a small problem-solving element. What I need to do is I need to work out the bit that is both. Well, the bit that is both is going to be the leftover amount if I add 5 eighths and 9 twentieths together. So when I add 5 eighths and 9 twentieths that much and that much, I will get this bit as a crossover between the two. That's the bit which is more than the whole. Okay, so that's the whole is all of that bit, but I'm going to get this bit, which is extra. So all I need to do is add this 5 eighths and 9 twentieths. So I suspect that working out what you had to do was probably the difficult bit here. Because once I know that, it's just an addition of fractions question. So I'm going to add 5 eighths plus 9 twentieths. So when you're adding a fraction with an un unlikely, you need to find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 20. And my lowest common multiple of 8 and 20 is 40. So I'm going to put them both out of 40. And they're going to add. So to find, and I need to find the equivalent fraction. Yeah? So I'll put that here case you're not sure. Use equivalent fraction. So I've got that times by 5. And this must therefore times by 5. So it's got 25 fortieths. And that was multiplied by 2. So to maintain the equivalent of the fraction, I'm going to times that by 2. So I've got 25 fortieths plus 18 fortieths, which is equal to 43 Fortieths. And there's my answer. Or is it? No. How much more? How much of the bit here is green? Well, it's the bit that's more than one. So 40 out of 40 is one. So therefore, my overlap equals three fortieths. And I can't simplify three fortieths, so that's my answer.